Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Steel Donut Collective. My name is Bob. With me today, I have Connor. Hello there. And we have special guest Rogue. Hi, I'm Rogue. Rogue comes from a channel called Kind of Friends, where she and Zaxers do something. Can you please describe? Oh, we do lots of fun things. We describe plots of terrible movies and TV shows to each other when the other one really shouldn't watch it. Um, Mm -hmm. We read terrible misconnections on Craigslist, which is a thing that I've never heard of, but Saxers is super into, and that's a lot of fun. Just some cool, unique stuff that's really... Yeah, it's kind (laughs) of a sister channel to the... Still done it. You should go over there. There's a link in the description. We've got we're doing two videos, one with uh, Rogue, one with Zax here on this channel. There'll also be two videos on their channel. Anyways, you've decided to show us something. Yes, um, Rogue. This is uh this is a story called Normal No More by Queen of Angels Yuki, and uh, you know Queen of Angels Yuki by the name Marissa. Yes, because Marissa is the OC. That the, is it the same OC in every story, or is it like a different OC with the exact same name? It's definitely the exact same OC in but every story. But is it intended story. to be the, the exact same uh, OC? It's not. Um, it's not like a general universe, an overarching okay. universe, where it's the same OC and she keeps on appearing in these other stories. I think she just doesn't know how to write any other character. Definitely a mm. self-insert to an extent. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, not yeah. cool. But not cool. Con- Connor, why don't you give us the description? All right. Let's make things clear. I'm a normal girl from a normal world. The mm-hmm. only reason I'm no longer normal is because I was transported to this world, and now I have Alec to do. <laughs> Better get started, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Fell through the portal and landed next to a checklist. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, no time. Like Look at my wrist. Yeah. Here we go. I love that uh, song. I'm a normal girl from a normal wolf. Yeah, wolf. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of a good old Christian Humber. Yeah. <sighs> Rest in peace. <laughs> He's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I guess. All right. So, chapter one: normal and not. How can you be both? both? <laughs> First one, then the other? That's I mean, like an yeah, exclusive but... thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, those, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm normal, no past traumas. I'm smart, <laughs> but that's uh, normal for me. That, that feels like a red flag, like something you shouldn't have to say. <laughs> okay, and here's why she says it. Because Marissa, in all of her other stories, is abused at home, sometimes by her dad, sometimes by her uncle. But she's still like a strong OC, except she is abused and she doesn't like to talk about that. And then she's also except depressed. Except that she does like to talk about it enough that it has appeared in every other <laughs> she story. She loves to narrate about it. Exactly. So you're saying that Queen of Angels Yuki is aware that she has this this uh, reputation uh, for for writing that, and so she decided to just right off the bat, just start <laughs> off, tell everybody her the only people who read her stories have read her other stories, and they go, "Oh man, I can't wait to see what trauma." Wait, no trauma. <laughs> I Hang kinda, on. I Am I looking like- at the right story? I feel like she probably got the feedback somewhere along the way, like, ugh, why does your character always have <laughs> past trauma? And so she's like, it's, no, I'm not gonna make a character past trauma. Yeah, this is this is a diverse a diverse this writing is a com- style. Completely like, different thing. character named Marissa. Whole, yeah. Great. Then one day I a portal opened up, causing me to end up in a whole nother world. Great. This was pretty bad, since I have zero clue what to do in this world, or where I am. <laughs> Why did we need that? Uh, I don't Couldn't know. Couldn't you have just started <laughs> at this first paragraph here? Uh, well, either way, line break, miraculous no, ladybug. Otherwise, we'd assume she had traumas or something. Oh, yep, you're so, right. That's yeah. true. When she first arrived in that world, she was confused, and quite frankly surprised. Mm. Because, one, she had memories from this world. Okay, so I guess she's uh, coming back. One being she was a singer. Hold on, Two, no, hold on. Did you just say because one she had memories and then within that list have another list? 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. I don't think she ever goes back to the first list. Subset. Okay. So, hey. there's, so it's just like, it's like, let me list this off. One, she had memories from this world. One, she was a singer. <laughs> two, there's just two ones. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> One, being she was a singer. Two, her new mother was a famous fashion designer. Two, she had two mo- You can't No, wait, spell no, that is that, one. That's the oh, two that's... from the first list. You can't oh. spell out one and then just use the number two. She no. did that so that you knew it was from the first list. No, no, Connor, it's one. She had memories of this world. The memories are, number one, she was a singer. Number two, she, her mother was a famous fashion designer. That's all in point one. Point two oh. is she had two moms. <laughs> yeah. God, okay. So okay. it is a list within a list. Oh my right. gosh. Sure. This is next level. Breaking new awesome. ground. Awesome. Two, she had two moms and one new Gabriel Agrest. 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 And it's finally, Agrest. It's Agrest. Agrest. Okay. Yeah. And finally, she had six brothers, the oldest being a modal. <laughs> I assume that's supposed oh. to be model. model. That's a music thing. Yeah. 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 It's also like a she philosophy is a thing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. He is a full, like, modal key in human form. <laughs> she looked at the pictures and saw a jagged stone in a picture with her mother's. Um. This is the youngest brother. Is jagged stone a person? He's a rock star, so that's his stage name. In yeah. in universe? Yeah. Oh, Okay. I'm going to do all the brothers' voices exactly the same. That sounds about right. Sweet. <clears throat> Why are you staring at Uncle Jagged? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you knew I had to do it to him. Yeah. A small voice asked. A young boy with blonde hair rubbed his eyes with one hand, and in the other was a teddy bear. I couldn't sleep. She said, and then she knelt down to the boy's level. I'm sorry, Loki. Did I wake you up? With your loud uh. staring? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She was stomping while she was staring. Maybe she arrived in the world falling <laughs> into, like, rare precious china and breaking yeah. it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe. The portal dumped her out on the dining room table. Yeah. She just Fully smashed set dining it room all. table. Yeah. Yeah. Fully set. Overnight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was odd. How did she know the boy's name? Right. New memories. The boy is her little brother. According to her memories, <laughs> the boy looked up to her and often clung to her. What the fuck? Why did you... It's like, okay, I want to write a story where my main character is in this world. How do I do it? Do I just have them be there? Or do I have them fall through a random portal, end up in the world, and then I have to come up with a contrived explanation of why her family's there? B. I'm going to go with B. <laughs> This is this is You couldn't great just say she's there? I would have believed that she was just there. This is great because like the two ways that, you know, people fall into universes in these stories is they either fall in as themselves and have <laughs> to, you know, acclimate and be a completely different person, or they, you know, take up someone's body. Yeah, they take up someone's form and yeah. And apparently both are happening. Y- yeah. Where she fell in as a new person, but also was the, someone because she has memories and well, is she, assuming a yeah, role. She she fell in, and the person she's occupying is also her, but with a different past oh. and with siblings. And this is like Bakura's arc in the last season of Yu Yu. What? He like okay. Is this before or after the motorcycles? After. <laughs> It's when they go really? to Egypt. I assumed and... everybody crashed on the motorcycles and died. <laughs> I mean, unless you're talking about, um, what is it, like 5Ds or whatever, that's something else. Wasn't that the motorcycles? That was the motorcycles. But there was also motorcycles in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! in like the fourth season. I feel like you and Locke would have a lot to talk about. <laughs> do, do I need to re-speak about Yu-Gi-Oh! now on recording? Okay, as a kid, I tried, like, like, Cartoon Network would only show certain episodes, so I swear to God, I saw the first half of the Yu-Gi-Oh! versus Pegasus fight, like, ten times, and never saw the second episode of yeah. that. Yeah. You're missing the out. The second half. Yeah. Was he, though? Yes. I don't know. Like, Connor doesn't damn. even like those Chinese cartoons. That's true. Like, no. damn, did Yugi ever beat the Toon World? I don't know. Man, oh, you're you're when Toon World, World was on, OP? I still don't know. You remember when Toon World was OP in the card game? 
Man, uh, when I, somebody threw I, out that Toon World card, everybody went, oh, shit. <laughs> but now if you throw yeah. down the Toon World card, they say, get out. Yeah, like, that's old shit. That's, you're they dead. They went from oh, shit to old shit. <laughs> Real fast. Yeah. Okay, well. Her memories implied that she loved him very much. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Why didn't she just love him? I she guess I anymore. love you. She used to. Question mark? Her memories implied that she did. Yikes! I don't know how I feel, but I guess my memories imply that I love you. Would you sing to me, Mary? <laughs> Loki asked. I don't know. It's, I mean, it's Marissa, so I would think it was Mari. Unless it's Mari, and then it's Marisa, which I hate. <laughs> Mari. Mm. Marisa. Mari- Oh, Marisa. it might be Marisa, right? I really hope it's not Marisa. <laughs> she took his hand. A cute smile spread across the six-year-old's face. Makes it wow. sound like a coincidence. <laughs> like some kind of weird disease that's spreading across his face. Thanks, Mari! Said Loki. No problem. Now for a completely different voice. Give it back, Apollo! You know that's for our mother's campaign against the man! <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> this is mob it... is trying to take down the city government. Isn't it the middle of the night? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are they shouting? They're very like, busy. Oh, at night. did my did my loud staring wake you up, or was it them shouting over there? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Another boy's voice shouted. Lighten up, Zandy. Another boy casually said, I know what I'm doing. Oh, this one's British sounding. <laughs> now do that voice, but British. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just going to do it the same way. Okay. All right. Will you act like an adult once in your life? Our mother has a shot at winning, and with Gabriel's support, there's no way that bourgeois guy will win. But if you ruin it, she'll have to do it all over. That's not how running for mayor works. <laughs> yeah, you lost the mayorship, so you gotta s- just restart Start the over. campaign. Start yeah. over, bud. No checkpoints. The British-sounding boy angrily said, And don't call me Zandy. My name is Xander, which is just as good a name. <laughs> the boy from before barked. Woof. What is going on here? Marissa asked, coming over with Loki. Loki needs help getting back to sleep, and your yelling isn't helping. So you do know it's at night. Okay. (laughs) Sorry, Marissa, said the boy with a British accent. Apollo was messing with Mom's important (laughs) campaign tool. Wait, if they're all brothers, why does one of them have a British accent? You know, I mean, you know, that's (laughs) not a question for... for Oh, that's how it happened. He was imitating... Fake British accents for too long, and he just, just accidentally stuck. started saying he just it. Yeah. stuck one day. Yep. You know what your mom say? If you keep up that accent, yeah. It'll, if you it'll keep stick. that voice up too long, it'll stick like that. And yeah. What do you know, I actually used to sound completely different, but I had to fake this voice for uh-huh. something, and it, it, I did it too much. Yeah. Uh, I think can we can we go back to what was said though? Apollo was messing with mom's important campaign tool. You know those yeah. classic campaign tools. You know, when you don't know what you want the <sighs> characters to fuck with, obviously you go to the one thing that you know every campaign has. Tool. A tool. A tool, <laughs> yeah. I can't believe she couldn't come up with anything, like a poster. <laughs> a poster. A sign. Or like a fucking... <laughs> a, a megaphone. microphone. Yeah, like... Yeah, like a, a <laughs> makeup. Like a fucking... Uh, just like a, a purse, like anything. Anything. A, a pencil. Yeah. Her lucky pen. Yeah. Tool. <laughs> Not even a specific tool. You didn't even say hammer. It's a campaign tool. It's specific. It's the, the tool campaign. for campaigning. Yeah. You can't campaign yeah. without your tool. Exactly. Without your My tool's getting tool. a little rusty. I'm going to have to start my next campaign all over again. <laughs> How about you all go to bed because Sebastian is modeling tomorrow and I have a concert in a few days. Not to mention school tomorrow, as do you three. Marissa crossed her arms angrily. What a sentence. Who are you, mother or mom? 
Oh gosh, because is they, that a like choice or because they have two moms? So how are they gonna oh. differentiate them? I guess bad. So so you're saying if they had a mom and a dad, it would have made sense for him to say, "Who are you, dad or mom?" Because yeah. that doesn't make sense either. It doesn't. <laughs> I wonder how they differentiate between their fifty dads. Mm, yeah, yeah. These kids Apollo probably have like, a crazy number of dads. Dude, I wouldn't make her angry. Jackson whispered. Have you forgotten she's scarier than that Stoneheart guy we saw on the tube? <laughs> How are you related again? <laughs> Who talks about that? How is any like, of this related, Connor? Like this? I don't know. Get me this to is, the Miraculous Ladybug. This is stream of consciousness. Yeah. I'm going back to bed. I suggest you do the same. I suggest the author does the same. Yeah, seriously. She suggested in a serious tone before heading back to bed. <laughs> what about my song? <laughs> Loki. Oh, God. Loki asked, looking cute. Marissa smiled at him. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget. <laughs> but I'm not going to say it to you. <laughs> she wa- well, she walked her baby brother to bed and tucked him in. She then began to sing. I right. have no idea what song this is. Just sing it to the tune of Yankee Doodle Dandy. No. Sing it to the I'm, tune of uh, <laughs> Old MacDonald. I'm just going to read it like a slam poem. Now is right, the fine. hour when frogs and thrushes praise the world from the woods and rushes. Huh. Sleep, my love. Sleep, my only. Deep in the dark. What a weird way for that to end. <laughs> I don't even care. I want to. I don't. Close your eyes and get swallowed by darkness. <laughs> I don't know the darkness if that's a real hungers song. for your flesh. Now sleep, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> As Eminem once said, "Go to sleep, bitch. Die, bitch, motherfucker. Die. die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Time's up, bitch. Close your eyes." Loki fell asleep right away, and Marissa smiled and left the room. Reminds me Next of the day, this is important. Marissa and some of her brothers were being driven to school by the assistant of one of her mothers and being reminded of the schedule for the day. Why did they start this with him <laughs> for her falling into the fucking universe? They had to She's establish They had to establish her relationship with her brothers. Yeah. Yeah, she could have est- you didn't need the falling into the universe part for that. She has zero clue what to do in this world or where she is, but very quickly knows who she is. Yeah, she has all the memories. knows what she's doing. Okay. okay. All right, Jackson, your Fenton lesson is at 3.30. Xander, your German lesson is up at the same time. The <gasps> assistant explained. Marissa, Mr. Morante wants to go over the choreography for your concert at 4.00. After that, your mother, your other one, wants you to look through a list of artists to design the cover of your new album. Do you get it? You have a lesbian mom. <laughs> Two of yeah. them, in fact. Two lesbian moms. Oh Whoa, not gosh. one lesbian mom and one straight mom. When I refer to your mother, I could be referring to, to either, either of them. Because you have two. Oh my gosh. All right, I understand, Marcy. Marissa said, holding on to her note book and reading through it. Make sure to remind Sebastian that he's going to model an outfit for Mom's fashion show. I hate reminding him when he's being lazy. You mean when forgetful? He's being lazy? Like, <laughs> I mean, like, that's just not what being lazy is. <laughs> feeling lazy today might just not do anything. Yeah, feeling lazy. I'm not, I'm going to choose not to remember things. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I would hate reminding people when they're just being lazy. I guess. Oh, my uh, laziness is really kicking in. Uh, whatever you say, I'm just not going to listen. Yeah. I can't. I'm incapable of it, I guess. <laughs> yeah. A reminder has already been sent to his phone and will be sent repeatedly. <laughs> Said Mercy. Good. Thank you, Mercy. Marissa took several notes for the show. <laughs> Why is she in charge of all this? Why? Okay. She has all of these memories? Bef- at the beginning, it was like, according to my memories, my memories yeah, no. implied- That's what I'm saying. I don't understand why they even started with her falling into the universe. Yeah, yeah. She fell in and didn't know what to do or who she was until like five seconds later, she knew what to do and who she was. And now it doesn't matter at all. Yeah. It doesn't also, matter later. 
why does Mercy not have, like, Mercy clearly has some grasp on everything, but why does Marissa feel like Mercy doesn't have any <laughs> grasp on it? Just let Mercy know, do her fucking job. Is Mercy from the show? No. Is she, like, no. really airheaded? No, Mercy's nope. from the game uh, Overwatch. You may have heard oh. of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, almost forgot. Your mothers are making arrangements for you to go on a date today. Uh, a date? Xander asked in shock. No way! Jackson blurted out. You can't be serious. <laughs> Why are they all reacting like this? Yeah, Paul. I mean, I guess Paul. it is fucking weird yeah. from whatever. Yeah, yeah. Why does she have, like, arranged dates set up for her? Because she's rich. Okay. That, okay. <laughs> Apollo said with crossed arms. Why would mother want me to go on a date? Oh, she's trying to train her up to be a lesbian, too. Cool. Yeah. yeah. The lesbian that's, agenda. Well, yeah, that's that's what it is. <laughs> Marissa asked, crossing her arms as if a little offended by the thought. How many times is she going to cross her fucking arms in this story? Uh, if she remembered correctly, through <laughs> her mother was a little controlling. Okay, a lot controlling. Ha. Yikes. Well, it's with the son of her old friend Gabriel. They're hoping you two will like each other. <laughs> oh, okay. Mercy explained. So this is going to be like a Marissa Adrian thing. Apparently. Okay, wow. You mean that pretty boy on that billboard over there? <laughs> uh... Apollo asked, pointing at a fashion billboard outside the window. I love the categorized billboards they started putting <laughs> up around Paris. Yeah, yeah. Please insert fashion Politics ad billboard. But yeah. <laughs> fashion billboard. Entertainment billboard. They do that so that if you don't want to look at, you know, politics or fashion, you can just float a route through the city. Oh, yeah. that makes sense. There's, yeah, like, the fashion districts, the... Politics yeah. district. The politics district, yeah. Yeah, where you get to see politics billboards. Yeah. Because that's a thing. <laughs> this one featured a boy around Marissa's age with blonde hair and green eyes. Marissa shrugged slightly. Before the car stopped and she and her two brothers were let out. Oh, good sentence. The car stopped. Great. Before that, what? Yeah. Well. She in, shrugged slightly, uh, I guess. Oh. Uh, Okay. We're just getting a sense of the sequence of events, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. First A and then B. Yeah. You know. Marissa took a moment, taking a step outside. She looked out at the kids walking inside. Shh, where are they? I. They're supposed to be at school, I assume. <laughs> oh, okay. She and four of her brothers walked inside, followed by five bodyguards. Don't Whoa. follow them. Why are you following them? Maybe go with them. <laughs> <laughs> She's got her squad walking in. The students stared at them the entire time they went to the principal's office for mm. their schedules. Suddenly, someone recognized Marissa. It's Marissa Severa! A girl shrieked. Um, Marissa Severa is in our school! Whoa. Several students and a few teachers <laughs> ran towards her with their phones ready. Ran towards her. Yeah. Teachers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're at work. <laughs> Be professional. They're big fans. They're big fans. Okay, gross. Marissa's bodyguard quickly grabbed the girl and made a beeline for her classroom. Marissa went to Miss Bustier's class and looked for an open seat. She took a seat in the front row. That was when two girls walked in. One was a blonde with a gold blazer and too much makeup. The other wow. was a redhead with big glasses. The blonde looked displeased as she approached Marissa. I'm trying to remember who the redhead with the big Sabrina. glasses. Sabrina. Okay, I don't care. I don't think she has any lines. Good. Excuse me, she said. You're obviously new here, so I'll make it easy for you. Get out of my seat. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're about to get sass back. Here we go, this sass fun. <laughs> Listen to my lips. I'm sitting here and I'm not moving. So either take a seat somewhere else or deal with my bodyguard. First of all, fuck you. Second of all, listen <laughs> to my read lips. my lips. <laughs> it's <laughs> read my lips. The reason listen. it's a phrase is because you don't normally read lips. <laughs> listen. But listen to my lips is just what you do. You can't you listen, listen to, to someone lips. speak. No, I mean, you can listen to lips. It's the way you hear speech. <laughs> I, I guess so, yeah. 
She pointed to the large man sitting next to her. Well, I mean, if he's going to take a spot, <laughs> two, <laughs> you I think that is unfair. Yeah. Get the what? fuck out of here. They're taking up two seats. He had black sunglasses and a black suit. <laughs> the blonde shuddered, oh? and then she regained her composure and spoke again. Why'd she shudder? Yeah, that's weird. No, he was real scary, the bodyguard. <laughs> it is Terence. Let me explain. I was actually sitting there first since before you got here. And your teacher said I can sit here. And since you clearly have no idea who I am, I'll spell it out. Savara, aka, sorry, Aka, the famous singer, everyone who's anyone knows who I am. Okay, well, you, you have any... done a terrible job winning me over, author. I also yeah, love that I... this came out, of, like, this personality came out of nowhere. Is she like this in other stories? Um, I mean, she, her, her OC archetype is like, I'm the Entitled bad girl. Bitch. Yeah, I'm the bad yeah. girl, and I can, I'm can i great at everything, except I'm still flawed because I'm abused at home. Your troubles of being rich and famous fade away when you play that card yourself. <laughs> yeah. And act, apparently, like, do this a lot. I guess we'll have to see. I don't know. Even if you do it once, I hate you. <laughs> Marissa coldly said before putting her hand on her cheek. I assume it's on her own cheek. It'd be really weird if you did. <laughs> Chloe. Yeah. Now listen here, you little... Not one, not three, not six, that's five. <laughs> the girl said, but was interrupted by the big guy standing up in and blocking Marissa. Whoa. I'll take it up with Miss Bustier. The girl walked away, as did her friend. Thank you, Lucifer. Marissa said as the man took a seat. What a dumb... T <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. So was this bodyguard about to beat up a child? Yes. <laughs> cool. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> what a cool life you live. Being named <laughs> yeah. Lucifer and beating up children on command. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You must feel so strong, bud. You're welcome. He said to her. Let me know if she bothers you again. I mean, you likely you'll notice. be right next to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right there. You will see it. <laughs> the next students to enter were two girls. Again. Yeah. One with black hair and one with tan skin and glasses. Their eyes went wide when they saw Marissa and they grinned as they went over. Excuse me, but aren't you Marissa Severa? Asked the girl with black hair. Yes, I am. The girl with black hair, but no other defining features. <laughs> yeah, she's Said the main Marissa. character of the show, but we don't yeah. we don't need to define her any further than black hair. The girl squealed in delight. The girl with glasses pulled out her phone and asked, "Can we take a picture?" Lucifer blocked them and said in a scary way, All right, "Scary, scary, scary! <laughs> Come on, hit us with something scary." No pictures. Ah, I'm so scared. The girls trembled and then rushed to their seats. Whoa. It was no different for the rest of the class. Each time anyone asked to take a picture with Marissa or an autograph, <laughs> take a picture with an autograph. <laughs> take an autograph with Can Marissa. Can you please just sign something and I'll do a selfie with that? I just want to take a selfie <laughs> with the autograph. I was this close to getting an autograph, dude. Lucifer turned them away. Finally, the teacher arrived. Okay, everyone, I'd like to introduce a new student. Her name is Marissa Severa. Miss Bustier said the students were intrigued by this. They all were trying to get pictures <laughs> with her. <laughs> they knew. I had a feeling that name would sound familiar. Marissa, we're all happy to have you. But um, I'm curious about this man with you. Did you not know before him? <laughs> also, like is, is this what would happen if, like, Taylor Swift was just like, you know what? I want to go get my degree from State University. Yeah, I want to go to Cardboard Box University. Here we go. Yeah, I want to have a, a backup plan. I'll get a degree in economics and sit in on Economics 101 with my bodyguard. I just like the line. I, I had a either. I had a feeling that name would sound familiar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> in case the rest of you weren't weren't aware, she's yeah. famous as hell. In case any of you shitlords don't understand who she is, 
She's a super famous person. Marissa, <laughs> please, would you bad. allow me to lick your boots? Yes. Please. <laughs> Just yes. once. He's my bodyguard. As a famous singer, I have to be careful, even in class. Hope you understand. Um, I don't know about oh. you guys, but like every time, every time I hear someone doing a Valley Girl voice, I have to like move my head back and forth. Even even if I'm not doing the voice, I, when I hear you doing it or when I hear Connor doing it, I <laughs> I'm do, oh. I'm doing that here in my seat, and I hope you guys are too when you're doing. Uh, I do a lot of like shoulders. I think. Are you okay. doing the? Are you moving your finger back and forth as well? Wagging sometimes. Finger? Sometimes. You do yeah. a Z snap. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Well, I don't want to snap on Mike because <laughs> yeah, you know. She smiled, pushing back a long strand of blonde hair. Her pale, glistening in light, uh, her what? long, huh? curly, blonde <laughs> hair that went up to her waist yes. swayed a little. <clears throat> what? Oh, <laughs> oh God. Okay. Yeah, you're getting all grossed up by the idea that her hair goes up to her waist? No, I'm just, I got overwhelmed. Her pale what? Why does her hair go up to her okay. waist? Okay, what is like, glistening? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not the word I was expecting. So... That's this, not the sentence I was expecting. This normally we get a description of Marissa far much earlier, earlier on. Yes, much earlier on in the story, and every single she has never corrected this. Nobody's ever corrected her on it. Apparently, <laughs> every single what? time she describes her hair, it goes up to her waist. What? <laughs> God. What? <laughs> oh God! Yuck! Yep. Oh. So, okay. Without being crass, where do you guys imagine the hair starting? Because I imagine it down at the ankles. Yes. That's about It's like a, like a reverse cousin it. Which, sure. <laughs> yeah. Which, like, also makes me think that she's bald. Oh, With yeah. I hadn't hair- even considered that. Yeah. What if she's two cousin it's? Like, the <laughs> top top of each mouth. other. <laughs> <laughs> and there's just like a pair of arms sticking out from where they meet. Yeah. Her hair goes up. I to don't her think waist. about it. Now, this is a unique OC. Yeah. Adrian's famous, and he doesn't bring his bodyguard to class. Fair point. The, the tan girl with glasses pointed out. That Mr. Regrest isn't being cautious enough with letting his son out into the world. Lucifer simply said, Weird. You haven't met him. Adrian muttered, Bitch. (laughs) Okay, let's get down to business. (laughs) I ain't got no time to play around. What is this? Yeah, said Ms. Bustier. And then she began the lesson. (laughs) Break! (laughs) Wow, okay. I've never you used the line break <laughs> earlier. I think, but I've never seen someone go line break line. Yeah, yeah, it's literally a break in the story. It's like she typed it out. It's right there. It it's says a break, break in a line. What's well, like a yeah. visual onomatopoeia? Yeah, oh. oh yeah, it, it's like a recognize the symbol, and you see that, and it is a line break. It's like a concrete poem. Yeah. Yes. Or maybe like uh maybe like this is an opportunity to get up, stretch our legs. Go out to the lobby, get a few <laughs> snacks or whatever, and you can come back in like fifteen minutes. And yeah, the lie show, down, the rest of the show will start. Yeah, scream, lie down, cry. Yeah, <laughs> just bleed out of your ears. You know, whatever yeah. you need to do. All right. Marissa was just leaving when she heard a boy say, "Seriously, dude, has your dad always been such a downer? You'd think he'd at least remember what it was like to be young and want a party." <laughs> I know nothing about this show, and I'm going to keep it that way. <laughs> Let's get shit-faced, bruh! <laughs> yeah. Marissa looked over and saw Adrian and a friend of his. No, I'm pretty sure he was a downer back then. <laughs> wow, jeez. My dad sucks big old balls. <laughs> yeah, my dad's the worst. He's Except I'm big... still defensive about him. I'm really defensive about him, even though he sucks big old donkey balls. <laughs> <laughs> Said Adrian with a sigh. Not really, as I heard he went to my mother's party. Jesus Christ. Get out. Get out of this story. (laughs) What are you doing here? I don't like you. Get out. (laughs) Is this a story wherein Marissa and her family fix all the original cast's problems? Fingers crossed. That's normally what she does in her stories, so. Okay, good. good. 
Marissa said simply, taking a seat next to the guys, her bodyguard standing next to her with his hands behind his back. Hey guys, remember when the story started by claiming she was normal? <laughs> <laughs> remember when, like, sentences ended when they should? Yeah. Not from this author, just like... In general. In general. Yeah. Like last time you read something where that happened. Last I time I read a different author, yeah. <sighs> really? Adrian asked skeptically. I kind of doubt that. He only recently let me start coming to school. What does that have to do? Okay. Before that, I lived in a cage. He's such a downer. <laughs> he threw sadness parties every day that ended in Y. Yeah. He used to push little pieces of cheese in between the in between the holes in the you know in the cage, and when I would uh -huh. reach for them, he would pull them away with a piece of string. It was <laughs> whoa. When he finally let me out, he'd just leave rakes all over the floor so yeah. that I'd just keep, just walking, keep walking into, walking them, into them and slamming them into my face. Yeah. It was like a weird mix of torture and cartoonishness. Is Yeah. It was sick. weird. It was slapstick yeah. torture. <laughs> yeah. Add that to the fact that he won't let Adrian have a party on his B-Day. On his, his B-Day! <laughs> if I remember correctly, B-Day is when you get your first blowjob. <laughs> That only that that happens on a very special B day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh look at you," <laughs> said his friend. He did. I should know. My mother is friends with him. Jesus. <laughs> Hold let on. Just... Let me stitch myself into the story real quick. <laughs> yeah, you guys all know me and love me, right? Marissa's server. I've always been here. I love you, Marissa. You're great. And yeah. you've always Which, been here and been friends with everyone. Which, that's crazy yeah. that, like, they're friends and yet Marissa and Adrian have never met. Have never met. Two Even famous people. Even though they're both people. famous, yeah. <laughs> both famous. Both. Are, isn't Mr. Agrest, what's his first name? Um, Gabriel. Gabriel, yeah. Isn't he, uh, like a fashion something or other? He's a, like, famous fashion designer. Like, yeah, world so famous. Yeah, so famous fashion designer. I mean, Marissa's mom is also a fashion designer. Yeah. Marissa's brother is also a model, like, and Adrian's a model. Oh, yeah, so you would think they would have crossed paths, like, maybe once or twice. Nope. Nah, <laughs> dog. Never. Marissa said. She told me all about him when he was younger. In the Weird. memories that I received this morning. Adrian sighed and said, Well, that's definitely not him now. He's probably just trying to protect you. <laughs> Marissa said, pushing her hair back. But your father did apparently set up a date for you on your birthday. Adrian flinched. At least he didn't do it for- no, I guess he did do it for his birthday. That's so fucking weird. <laughs> well, it's his very be, special B-Day, this one. I would feel so, one. so uncomfortable if someone set up a date for me as a birthday gift. <laughs> <laughs> That would make me feel so fucking weird. <laughs> and I feel like it would make me feel even weirder if I was the birthday gift. <laughs> right? You know, like, hey, I think it'd be great if you dated my son as a gift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, excuse me, I'm a person. A, a date? Whoa, dude. Awesome gift! Oh no! <laughs> you it. You fucking okay. What's also, weird? Also, apparently Nino does think that B day means blowjob day. So <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hold on, let me ask. Okay, what's weirder? <laughs> Setting your son up on a date as a gift, <laughs> or being the friend who says awesome <laughs> gift about that happening? Definitely the friend. <laughs> Because, like, like, if that happened to Connor, yeah. and I said that to him, I would rightfully be banished. Especially because, like, this, it would be a little bit more understandable, I think, if it's like, oh, well, this is, like, a weird, like, you're famous and kind of out of touch, but the friend would be like, that's super weird. Yeah, but or at the very least, maybe say this when she's not right there. <laughs> She's I mean, right there! She's I mean, the one who told you! I mean, they're all high schoolers, yeah. dude. You, no, know? you know, his dad is like, yo, because <laughs> that's how he talks. <laughs> yo, yo this dog. Year, <laughs> this year, it's me, <laughs> Gabriel, whatever the fuck my last name was. <laughs> <laughs> this year for your birthday, I got you a slam piece. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I pulled out all the strings. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of something to say, but Slampies <laughs> is really throwing me off. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, dude. Awesome gift. Am I right? Adrian's friend asked, holding up his hand for a high five. Not awesome. Adrian shouted. Correct. Marissa snorted a little, apparently. His father neglected to tell him about their date. You know, your mother neglected to tell you about it. Actually, at all. Mercy <laughs> was the one who had to car. tell you. Yeah. Dude, you have a date with Mari Severa. I, I don't know why they're shortening it like that. His friend insisted. How is that not awesome? She's right here, and I'm talking about her as though she's, she's not. not. <laughs> Nino, my father set this up without telling me. That's why it's not awesome. Adrian said. If he would have told me, it would have been totally It would have been sweet. sick. I would have gotten my D wet. <laughs> I think you're confused, too. Our date wasn't on my schedule. Oh, no, she's not. Your father wished to bring her in during your birthday, so you both had alone time without you rejecting it altogether. Ew. What her guard said gross. in a simple tone, knowing Gabriel well. Yuck! Also, okay, so her guard knows Gabriel well, and they still have never met. Yep. Yeah. Seriously? Adrian asked in disappointment. Before Marissa could reply, the dark-haired girl from class came out screaming and nearly falling over. Thankfully, she caught herself just in time. Marissa saw a thin blue rectangular box with a pink ribbon in her hand. The girl quickly hid the box and let out a nervous laugh as she faced Adrian. Why is this in the story now? High school hijinks. <laughs> because show hijinks. But, like, we have Marissa here. Because Marinette and Adrian is the classic ship, I guess. Yeah, but, like, why does this need to be here? Hi. She said. Hi, Marinette. Said Adrian, a little surprised and confused by her <laughs> sudden arrival. Said the readers, a little surprised and confused yeah. by her sudden yeah. arrival. <laughs> yeah. She a fan of mine or yours? Marissa asked him in a simple tone. Can Sorry, you do that I again, but in simpler? a simple voice? Yeah, yeah okay. make that simpler. I don't know how, but make it simpler. <laughs> she a fan of mine or yours? Marissa asked him in a simple tone. She's in our class. Adrian said. She's nice. <laughs> Adrian, I wanted to gift you a make. Marinette nervously said. I mean, gift you a give I made. I mean, gah! Before Marinette could continue, the blonde pushed her away and then smiled at Adrian. Wow. Marissa just gave the girl a look that said, Okay, nice, I really hate this girl. Yeah, that was Chloe, I'm pretty sure. Her anger intensified, she really hated this girl. Oh, wow. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I'm confused. Does she hate this girl? I don't know, I, I'm not sure. I mean, it yeah. intensified without her doing anything else, so... Well, that's how anger works. You get mad at something, and then just you just keep going. getting madder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a Hulk rage just by myself! <laughs> Happy birthday, Adrikens! The girl said as she hugged Adrian and kissed his cheek. Thanks, Chloe. Said Adrian, laughing a bit. <laughs> Kill me. Oh, oh uh, Marissa, have you met Chloe from our class? That's Chloe Bourgeois, daughter of the mayor, Andre Bourgeois. Chloe clarified. And Adrian's childhood friend. So, Adrikins, did you get the gift I sent you? Eh, uh, no. Said Adrian, a bit confused. What? No, this Chloe. isn't Chloe. Oh. This is oh. she. <laughs> uh, eh, what? <laughs> yeah, Chloe asked in shock. Oh, that was delivered. <laughs> well, <I'll just> <laughs> You're trying to do Valley Girl and also like some weird Lovecraftian <laughs> horror. Weird fucking alien. <laughs> oh, those delivery guys. I bet it was too heavy. So they had to go back and get another guy to help. Those slackers. I'll make sure you get it by tonight. Bye, like Chloe. A... <laughs> Welcome. Go back to your planet now. Bye. Yeah. It's like a <laughs> Valley Girl robot. Yeah, Chloe. Yeah. Valley robot. Um, speaking of gifts, 
Marissa said, pulling out a wrapped square. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just wrapped square. It's, it's two dimensional. I bought you. I got you a polygon. Yeah, I got you a square. <laughs> I heard humans like shapes, so I got you a square. Yes, this is a perfectly natural shape. Square. Square. <laughs> It is comforting and soothing. The square. Enjoy the corners. <laughs> Here. Square. God damn it. Square. For your next birthday, I'm getting you a fucking square. Yes. Enjoy the square. These corners are right. <laughs> Adrian right unwrapped you. it. Just right for you, literally. <laughs> They're 90 degrees. Ha, 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 ha laugh. Ha. Ha, ha, ha. Adrian unwrapped it. Inside was CD. <laughs> oh, not, j- not just any CD. It had her on the cover in costume. Oh, oh Pissing? No. Pissing? <laughs> Is that supposed to be pissy? I hope not. I Is this the most posing. embarrassing album cover of the century? <laughs> embarrassing or audacious? <laughs> <laughs> like, is she pissing while looking straight at the camera and giving two middle fingers? Or is it like a It's revolutionary, shot? actually. I think it's like, it's like one of those things, like, you see, it's like a totally artsy thing, and she will do anything for her art. She's saying, fuck the system, fuck the censors, I'm gonna just be pissing on my album cover, because fuck wow. you. I mean, that does sound wow. like Marissa. Parental yeah. advisory, bitch! <laughs> For some reason, it said costume, and I imagined a fur a fur suit, but like without oh. the head. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. And then like a Calvin style. Oh, okay. Pissing. So she's looking away, and she's like looking over her shoulder, like yeah, eh. pissing yeah. on the parental advisory warning. On oh, the album. nice. Right. Very artsy. Wow. Yeah. I mean, sure. And how does she? she- why did she know it was his birthday? Because uh, her memories uh, that but she inherited she's never this met morning. Him. It, her memories that she okay. inherited this morning. Apparently, her mom just... met her dad and knows him very well oh. and has heard lots about him. So you know, her... she's, she knows him intimately, even though also, she, they've never met. Apparently, this was her first day at school because she was, yeah. was okay. Yep. Yep. <sighs> Kill me. It's my CD. They haven't released it yet, so I thought you'd like it. She kissed his cheek before going over to Marinette. And kissing her cheek. Marinette groaned in embarrassment and tried to hide her face behind the present. So you're the nice girl Adrian told me about. What are you talking about? You've never met him. It must have Uh, happened during the break. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) got it. Yeah. They they broke away and then they all chatted. Mm -hmm. And then they resumed where they were and continued the story. Marissa smiled at her, putting her hands behind her back. Yeah, that's me, said Marinette, trying really hard not to freak out. Unfortunately, her shock was hard to hide. Her friend pushed past her and screamed, You're Mari Sevra! I have no idea how hard it was waiting until after class to try and speak to you. You I have have no no idea. idea. I have no idea. (laughs) Plus, your bodyguard's kind of scary. Marinette piped up. Well, there's a reason his name's Lucifer. So I hear you're pretty... What? <laughs> what? What's the reason? Because <laughs> he's scary. Uh, hey, Rogue, is Lucifer another recurring OC, or did this author just think it'd be really cool? Yeah, no, I've the only recurring OCs are Marissa, and also she always has a brother named Loki. Okay, so she just thought, like, damn... What if in this story, I had, like, a bodyguard that was named Lucifer, and he was real scary? Yeah. Yeah, she was like, that'd be so hardcore. (laughs) Yeah, now watch me piss on this grave. (laughs) (laughs) I think it's cool, therefore everyone will. Maybe it's on the grave it says parental advisory. Ooh, I like it. It's parental advisory's grave. (laughs) Oh, I thought it had the name and then parental advisory. Connor, are you about to ask me to make that your next DJ and set album? Yes. Yeah, oh. Okay. Give me a picture of you pissing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it happen. All right. Uh, oh, God. Well, there's a reason his name's Lucifer. So I hear you're a pretty great designer. Wrong you are. Mind if I see some of your sketches? Marissa asked in a sweet tone. 
Marinette gulped and reached into her bag. She trembled as she pulled out her sketchbook and held it out to Marissa. She squeaked as Marissa took the book and opened it. She's doing right, so do many I, actions. Yeah, l- let me get the notes for the n- next take. Okay, I need you to gulp, then tremble, then squeak. Okay, you got that? Cool. Action. Gulp. <laughs> Perfect. She smiled as she looked through it. Um, ellipsis period. Hey. Yeah, not one, not three. <laughs> not hey, six. would you like to design my next costumes for my concert? Not a question. Marinette and her friend gasped. Me? Design? Costumes? Your concert? Yes, that was five <laughs> of, like, the twelve <laughs> words that I used in my sentence. Yeah, those were the key ones. Yeah, you got all the right points. The ones you didn't get were, like, would, like to. <laughs> yeah. All next. those helping verbs and prepositions, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you're a pretty great designer, and personally, I think I'd love to wear something you design. I think I'd love to wear it. I think, I think <laughs> I I'd love to wear it. I won't know until I'm wearing it. Put it on <laughs> and, and I'm I like, Ugh, I was wrong. I've been wrong before yeah. and this <laughs> is one of those times. Personally, yeah. I think. <laughs> like, that's so redundant. I have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing the costume and you say, God, what have I done? It's that fur suit without the head. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted her to, to design a different one from her book. I should have been specific. <laughs> oh, I should have been so specific. There were some real stinkers in there. Yeah, there were them. some real stinkers oh, in there. Oh, God. I thought Lady Luck would blow my way. <laughs> I guess the winds of luck, I kind of combined those two there. Guess Lady it Luck her... could blow my way. I <laughs> <laughs> guess it wasn't her B-Day. Okay. It wasn't her B-Day. Uh, <laughs> she's going to get the blowjob this day. Lady okay. Luck ain't blowing her way. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she handed her notebook back before handing her a card. This is my mom's number. Contact her. She'll explain what kind of costume I need. I'm trusting you, Marinette. See you. Me too. You... Marinette said as Marissa got in the waiting car that was in the classroom. <laughs> I think it was in like, the they're courtyard. in the classroom still. Well, there, right? there was a break. So I think also, they're in the wait. Courtyard. Anything could have happened. In, yeah, they could be in space. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, because to me, that was first class. Uh, and then, <laughs> uh, remember, in Chinese cartoons, it goes, uh, class starts. Now the lesson be ring. Now it's over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like also in Eve Everstone <laughs> exactly, stories. Like, exactly. Exactly. Right. Marinette said as Marissa got in the waiting car. After the car left, Marinette let out a scream. I would scream if my brother weren't in town. And I, yeah. don't, I, I don't know if he's home yet. He probably isn't, but still, I'm not going to scream. <clears throat> Marissa Sever wants me as her costume designer. Alia laughed a little. Me too, you? She added. Marinette's smile fell and she groaned. Why can't I just mean what I say? Say what you mean? Alia asked. Exactly. Said Marinette. Alia patted her on the back. You know, she's pretty nice considering she's super famous. Yeah, and she's beautiful. Let me lick your boots, Marissa. Yeah, she's beautiful and and kind and generous. And also a wonderful writer. Who are we talking about again? Also, though, Adrian is really nice and he's super famous. Like, Yeah, they know a couple famous people who are super nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's also really down on his on his luck and his dad and all that. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. Has, kind of past, he has past traumas. He's not normal. Yeah. He's oh, that's like, true. He's, like, sad, which, like, disqualifies him. Yeah. Yeah, because Marissa is never sad. She's always happy and great. Except for when she's mean. Yeah. But she's mean in a good way to the right people. Like yeah. Chloe. Mean it's that totally brush. okay. Yeah, exactly. It's totally okay to be extremely mean to total assholes. Yes. She is. Said Marinette, smiling blissfully while hugging her gift for Adrian. Whoa, so she whoa, didn't whoa, give Marinette. it to Adrian? Who do you have a crush on? You could still give it uh, to him. She has right a crush there. on Marissa, just like the rest of us. Get with yeah. the program, Rogue. Line break. Wait, and then you know how to use a line break again? Line break and then a line break <laughs> with Marissa. So wait, was that supposed to be break from school? I assume so, because that's how she does all of her scene transitions. Okay. But it's cool. weird that it's like a break. That's not a... 
Well, maybe and Mar- people are Marissa going just, home. Marissa just cut out. She doesn't yeah. know how classes work. Like third period, right? That's about enough school for the She's day. She's like, so oh, bounce. the class is over. I'm gonna leave. Oh uh, no, wait, there's still like five more classes. I'm about classes. to head out. Yeah, <laughs> with Marissa. Marissa waited in the back seat until the car stopped. An old male was uh-huh. in the middle of the street and looked like he had dropped something. She opened the door and ran over. She helped him up and picked up a small rectangular black box. It kind of looked like one of the miraculous boxes. You know <gasps> what? <gasps> okay. Also, you the really... miraculous boxes are not rectangular. Yeah, they're like, aren't they like an octagon? Yeah. Whoa, that's way too many corners for me. <laughs> Can we like to the, do you like the square? I got <laughs> you. <laughs> Here, I hope you're okay. I'm fine, Miss Severa. <laughs> said the old man. He smiled kindly at her. I know this isn't what the character sounds like in the show, but I don't care. They, she didn't specify. That is yeah. perfectly okay. Thank you very much. Please accept the box as a token of my gratitude. Which is a totally ridiculous thing to do. <sighs> Yeah. I mean, if you knew what it was, I it would... dropped some. I dropped some <laughs> shit, and you helped me pick it up. Now I'm gonna <laughs> give you superpowers. <laughs> my life is an RPG, and this is my quest reward. <laughs> to yeah. be fair, that's kind of what happened in the show. Um, huh? But isn't this important to you? Marissa asked in concern. The man kept smiling. Man nah, kept... bitch, I got tons of these. <laughs> I trust you with it, and I think you'll do great. Now get out there and cause havoc. <laughs> she smiled sweetly at him, bowing politely and making sure he got across the street before she got back into the car. What is that, Marissa? <laughs> Lucifer asked. A box, I assume. It's cute. Not one, not, not three. Not one, not three. I'm gonna put it in a draw and see what's in it later. Not a drawer. In draw? A draw. <laughs> not a drawer. I'm gonna put it in a draw and see what's in it later. I'm gonna store it in my, my cabinet. <laughs> yeah. She put it in her purse. She had a great idea. <laughs> so looking she in the box <laughs> later? That's your great idea? <laughs> she just put it in her inventory. Yeah. Oh man, now I'm over encumbered. Let's go before we're late for your choreography. Said Mercy. Mr. Morante is not a patient man. Oh, you got a little more southern there at the end. <laughs> I just mumbled more. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> okay. Said Marissa as Lucifer drove away. Did you go over the list of designers your mother sent you? Mercy asked. I have a designer and it's none on the list. Tell my mother I'm going with Marinette. In going with Marinette. Mm. In oh tell sure. <laughs> tell my mother in going with Marinette. Oh gosh, <laughs> I can't switch these accents. I'm not as um practiced. Tal- I'm not as talented as the SDC boys. Oh, Practice. <laughs> we have no talent. Okay. <laughs> or comedy <laughs> hacks. Yeah, yeah. You know that expression. If you say it with the same stupid accent ten thousand times, you eventually your voice will get stuck like get that. Use it. You'll write Shakespeare. Oh. Is that what it is? Yeah, um, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Marinette, should I know that name? Mercy asked as they car stopped in front of the opera house. Oh. Ye- yeehaw. Is she an opera singer? What kind of choreo... Wait, okay. Yeah, what kind of choreography would she need if <laughs> she's an opera singer? They're doing I, I don't the, know. They're doing the, uh, yeah. I don't know. We need... I, I need more details. <laughs> Marissa got out of the car, answered... She's a <laughs> she's a girl in my class. Her designs are amazing. You want a schoolgirl to design your costumes? Your album cover? She had an album cover. Yeah, what? It was her pissing it, on a grave. It needs to be changed. Yes. It needs to be changed bad. That's fair. You know, that's fair. That's why it hasn't been released yet. She just now, Marissa. Released. I know you're all a good songs s- were done like six months ago. Yeah, it's a controversy. Marissa's fighting, fighting the label to get her album cover released. Yeah. Well, you know. They'd maybe consider it if she was of age, but at this point it's like, <laughs> this is way too controversial. Yeah, yeah. Mercy asked, sounding a little judgmental. Yeah, a little, just a little. Yes, she's perfect. Marissa said in a cold tone that was directed towards Mercy. Weird. <laughs> she's just a student. Said Mercy. 
How can you possibly entrust your label to a girl no older than you? Ah! Uh, I'm sorry, you mean yee-haw. <laughs> <laughs> not you all. I know you're no not really than... southern, so it's hard yeehaw. for you to... Yeah, there you go. After hearing Mercy scream, Marissa swiftly turned around and saw her and Lucifer trapped inside bubbles. And not just them, many other adults were trapped in bubbles as well and floating away towards the sky. So you didn't hear anybody get bubbled? Nope. Not one. Uh, I <laughs> cool. mean... I assume they're still outside of the opera house. I feel like she would see yeah. more bubbles. Uh. What? She looked freaked out. So she got out of the car and looked at the bubbler flying around. This Wait, is... I thought she was already out of the car. Oh, yeah, they got bubbled know. inside of the car, I guess. That's weird. No, I mean, she said Marissa got out of the car answered. She's oh, a girl in yeah. my class. Oh, she I guess there was like a choice. smaller car within the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a clown car that's... with four other cars. Now that's luxury. Maybe the passenger seat is its own, like, one-seat car mm -hmm. that she can detach and drive away See, like that's... if she's in danger. That's fucking luxury, dude. Like, we think, like, okay, well, you know, high class, you know, you got, like, you're really rich, you got a limo. Mm -hmm. When you're a certain level of rich... You're so rich that you don't even just have a limo. You've got a limo inside, inside your limo. Yeah. yeah. A smaller limo that you ride inside of. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's basically a coffin with wheels. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but it has a push button. So yeah, and that's it, goes, how you know she's it fancy. goes fast. Real yeah, fast. It's yeah. streamlined. She modified her limo coffin with like a V12. Yeah, it has just enough, it has just enough gas to get you to the crash site. Yes. Which I guess becomes your grave because you're yeah, in a coffin already. There you go. Yeah. That's convenience. That is so convenient. That's why it's luxury. If I remember correctly, that's how Princess Di died. Oh, gosh. Uh, I was going to joke about like the next <laughs> BMW, you know, being designed to carry you to your grave. Mm -hmm. But uh, you kind of ruined that turn of thought there. <laughs> <laughs> that momentum, that line of jokes there. Rest in peace, hey, Princess oh, Di. Rip. This is so predictable, I swear. Hey, Bubbler. How does she know? Who yeah, that well, is? okay. Uh, All right, memories. This author's okay, bad. No, 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 but, continuing on. But the Bubbler was. He's akumatized. He's a completely new villain. Yeah. And if this is a uh, new world that she. I don't even. Okay. No, so she remembers the world clearly. Normally in yeah. her stories, she gets transported to a new world, but it's a show. In her mm -hmm. world, in her universe. So she's oh, like, so oh. it's like the classic Drax situation, card in the corner. Exactly. Yeah. So and she knows everything because she's. So she'd be like, "This is X Men. I'm gonna help out Scarlet Witch with Quicksilver, yeah. or whatever." And, but I don't know if that's true for this one. Apparently, it is. She like apparently like kind of half-assed this one. If she's like. <laughs> giving details way later than normal, she's like, oh shit, I still need to do that. Yeah. There might be people who don't know what I look like. Or like, yeah. uh, just forgot that, oh, she watched this show in the real world. So all of this just comes at you with no idea <laughs> of how she knows. I yeah, gotta say, I have no impression of what she looks like other than hair coming up from her ankle. And she's blonde yeah. and it's curly. No, I mean, like, I don't, I can't put that together in my head as a picture of a human being. Yeah. I mean, all I picture pretty much is hair. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, no face. Just... No, I don't even imagine it in a scene. I'm like, it's like in a white void, and then when I try to place her in a scene, nothing. Um, okay. I'm reading a bit ahead and a little confused, so I guess we'll just go. All right. Because he has a very ca she has a very casual chat with him here. <laughs> he seemed to hear her and turned around. He flew back and landed in front of her. Sup, Mari? Said the bubbler. Nice job with the adults. I'm fairly impressed. Stop being impressed with the villain. Is, yeah, is getting bubbled a bad thing? Why is she yes. like... So the, way? yeah, so the bubbler, his whole thing was like, no more adults because adults ruin everything because Gabriel Agrest won't let Adrian have a birthday party. So he's like sending them all away. Sweet. I'd be down for that. I mean, yeah. I am an adult, but I'd be I, down for... Yeah, I fucking ruin everything. I don't let yeah. anybody have a B-Day. I'm, I'm the party. worst. Yeah. Like, all you kids out there, like, I'm sorry for, like, being an adult, you know? Yeah, bubble me now. 
Yeah, <laughs> just bubbled me off of this hellhole we call Earth. Yeah. Yeah. Marissa smirked, walking back and forth. Thanks. He said with a proud smile. You know what would be more impressive? If you can get Adrian and Marinette to dance with each other. I hear she has a huge crush on him. Marissa evilly smirked? And maybe bubble Chloe. That way she doesn't get in the way. Yeah, it's okay to do that to would people, bad people. Would people die if they got bubbled and no one saved them? Probably. Yeah, probably. Okay, that's a death threat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why not? He seemed to ponder this. I like your thinking, dudette. Seeing as there aren't any adults around, I'd say your schedule is wide open. How about you stop by Adrian's place for the party I'm throwing him? <laughs> Count on it. Sounds fun. Marissa kinda liked being the bad guy certainly fun. Certainly. Certainly. That made sense. <laughs> Sweet! Said the bubbler. I'll round up the guests and bubble Chloe. You need the address? Oh my god. Marissa started walking towards him. I already know it. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't know if I switched that. I know it already. <laughs> she walked towards Adrian's house, giving him a wave. Awesome, said the bubbler. Meet you at the party. So in, like, stories in, like, the Avengers universe, uh -huh. are there OCs who fall in and are just like, Hey, what's up, Thanos? Nice job with the snap, man. You did a great job. <laughs> great job. You want, you want to meet up at our party later? Man, great it would have been great if you killed more people. <laughs> yeah, hey, can you specifically go kill that one girl over there? She was a real asshole earlier. Yeah. In what Marissa's a bitch. stories, yeah. that might happen. <laughs> I really want to see Marissa enter the world of, uh, of, that, of uh, the, the MCU. Yeah. The M in MCU stands for Marissa. Marissa. <laughs> Marissa's cool universe. <laughs> At the party, Marissa was having fun eating some food. <laughs> How much fun can you have eating hey, food? Oh gosh, hey. I have so much fun eating food. Excuse me, when you're as round as me, that's the only fun you <laughs> get. No, okay, I, yeah. I'm with you though. <laughs> I love The best food. time of day is when I get to chomp down on some burgers. Have you yeah. ever have you ever just unhinged your jaw <laughs> and just swallowed like uh like a rat hole? <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I can't say I have. To be fair. Maybe though, my snake heritage is coming through a little <laughs> oh, bit. Oh no, you're a snake and a cat. Well, yeah, but I was raised by snakes, card in the corner. <laughs> Um, was that smooth or what? So I'm a comedy smooth. hack. There are fun foods to eat though, like pop rocks. Mm -hmm. Um, popcorn. Fun dip. Pop tarts. Yeah, if it starts with pop, it's fun. Popsicles. Yeah. Popsicles. Yeah. Um, yeah, all fun things. Uh, that's it. That's it. Yep. Those, those are, are the those five. Are all... <laughs> those are the fun foods. Five fun foods. Yeah, I number think that was five. five. Yeah, number five on the fun <laughs> foods list. Marissa was having fun eating some food while the others danced, and that was when she saw a boy with red hair and decided to go over to him. Would you Who like shit to is this? Nathaniel, would you like to dance with me? He was speechless at first, but he finally blurted. Yes! Hold on. <laughs> is she shipping herself with Nathaniel? Because I have big issues with that. Why? Because Nathaniel belongs with Mark. Okay. <laughs> you're just, you have issues with it because you're like, oh, the one true ship. Ugh. OTP. Yeah. yeah. So not um, like a real canonical issue with it. Like, nah, I don't care. Nathaniel's <laughs> actually dead. She took his hand and started to dance with him while accidentally bumping into Marinette and push her into Adrian's arms. Man, how crazy would it be if I had an OC in this universe and I was just there to shove them together? Yeah? I wonder who Marissa's OTP is. Yeah, I wonder. I love the idea. I think idea. you mean whatever this author's name is, something Yuki. No, I mean Marissa. Oh, okay. I love the idea of, like, having your OC fall in and instead of... You know, replacing the main girl in the pairing, like being her wingman, mm. or wingwoman in this case. She actually does that in a lot of her stories. She'll 
like, put herself in an episode and have the exact same plot and dialogue happen, and she's just there to kind of assist them along. Yep. And also be a super badass. And That's great. I think we all need a dimension traveling OC bro or (laughs) brodette. I want everybody to just, like, don't answer this question right now. Just think about it. And in the comments, if you want to leave a comment, if you know anybody who kind of does that, right? Like, you have things going on in your life, and then somebody just, every time they enter the situation, they always just move things along quicker, (gasps) you know? Like, maybe we got OCs entering our world. She's bleeding into our lives. Oh, no, the universes are merging. (laughs) Oh no! I do know a Marissa. Oh no! Oh my god! God! And I am an OC. <laughs> uh, I'm the real OC oh, here. Let's be honest. Okay. The Let's be OC. honest. Ah. Let's be honest. All right. <clears throat> Hi, Adrian. She nervously said. Hey, Marinette. Said Adrian. You two should dance together. You'd make a cute couple. Jesus, you're so fucking on the nose about this. Yeah. Marissa said, still dancing with the redhead. Marinette blushed while Adrian smiled and asked, Would you like to? Marinette got really nervous and stuttered for a moment. The bubbler was about to intervene. (laughs) Fuck off, (laughs) bubbler. You did your job, now go to hell! Yeah, like, once again, I, I can't imagine any other, like universe kind of thing where one of the bad guys is like i don't know also there to try and like get the main couple together yeah it's just like wait doesn't marinette have powers like do something he yeah. bubbled everyone like what the fuck is going on adrian also has powers. was it a just a funny goof <laughs> Uh, did you yes. put them down 10 seconds later i can't let me remind you he did this so that adrian could have a party and adrian has powers which, by the way, like in he this, could stop this in this actual episode, everyone was super uncomfortable at the party. They were just like, "Yeah, party, no parents." They were like, maybe, all sad. Maybe oh the author, God. when watching the episode, completely missed, <laughs> missed that. that. You're telling me that more of this actually happened than I thought it did. Yes. Yeah, I thought this was some crazy. St- plot that she was just coming up <laughs> no with. the bubbler is canon i i got that but and this is the reason why diverged in a while in a different direction i mean it it, it does diverge okay, yeah i'm okay i'm not gonna trash on you guys <laughs> not on me i don't want to even watch this show just me man is this how y'all feel whenever i make you read shitty nanawa stories yes <laughs> yes okay this well, not one. really, but yes. <laughs> well, after like the fifth or sixth, you started to get yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. After that fucking dragon one. <laughs> oh my god, I wish the dragon one continued. Well, if it uh, didn't continue, tell you maybe we could do that. Maybe we could yeah. do it for the Steel Donut. Yeah. The bubbler was about to intervene, but thankfully Marinette said, Sure, okay, with you, dance. I'm shutting up now. Adrian pulled Marinette closer and danced with her. Marissa gave the bubbler, now lowercase, a smirk. Stop fucking smirking at the bubbler like he's cool. The bubbler nodded and continued the music. Is he the DJ as yes, well? Yes, actually. Oh my god. Yep. I'm sorry. No. I'm not being pedantic. Not, not being pedantic. It's this just... is not a hill that I need to blow up. You're not going to die on it. You're not going to die on the hill. You're going to destroy the hill. (laughs) Yeah, no. I'm trying not to, like, go in full-on attack. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. By the way, my name's Nathaniel. Perfect voice Said the boy. (laughs) Yeah. Perfect voice. Oh, I know. One of the boys told me you're a good dancer. You're going to make a girl a great boyfriend someday. Whoa! Weird. Whoa! (laughs) Weird. Whoa! What a weird thing to say! Hey Bob, remember back in Yoi Mude card maybe in the quarter mm. when he was talking to that one girl and he's like, "You'll make a great mother someday." Yeah, but he. This th- is she, the opposite. She wrote something even weirder than that. That's reverse. what she meant to write. She meant to write like she meant to write like one day you're gonna be a great boyfriend to some girl, but it said <laughs> you're gonna make a girl a great boyfriend. <laughs> 
weird. That has also, two connotations, and both are weird. Also, one of the boys told me you were a good dancer, so like maybe. Oh, oh, oh. maybe she <laughs> did pick up on boys. that about Nathaniel. Yeah. What's happening is she says one of the boys told me you're a good dancer. That's us hearing from the author. The author is dropping a hint that I know he's like maybe can potentially canonically gay, but this is me putting my foot down. He's gonna be straight now. <laughs> yeah, he's straight now. <laughs> Yeah, that boy was Mark, and they're never going to be together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That guy, Nathaniel, he's straight as flip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think so? Nathaniel asked with a blush. I know so. In fact, you'd be a pretty cool superhero. Do you think I'd make a cool supervillain? Not a question. Not a question. Uh, okay. Why would you want to be a supervillain? Nathaniel asked. Fair Surprised to hear that. Fair question. Legit question, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, legit question. And this is a ridiculous answer. <laughs> Maybe so a superhero like Cat Noir, are you sh- to show me the error of my ways? What? Oh, she's Maybe getting so kinky with that. That's too. getting super kinky. Especially since Cat Noir wears, like, all black leather. Like, yeah, wow. spandex. Show me na, the na, error na, of my na, ways. Na, na. Yeah. <laughs> she giggled. <laughs> Marissa giggled, yeah. Nathaniel laughed a little and said, Funny you should bring up superheroes. I don't know if you know about this, but I'm a bit of an artist. And I draw myself as a superhero a lot. Why would you that's, say that? That's, that's such so an embarrassing weird. thing to say. And also, like, he's embarrassed about it. That's a thing. That's, oh my gosh, that's like a whole episode. Well, Marissa's here, and she's really cool. I don't know if you've forgotten, Rogue, but... Everyone loves Marissa. So much so that when she tells them things about them that they didn't they just, know, or she hears things from them that she shouldn't, you know, everyone thinks that's totally normal and cool. <laughs> they just want to spill out all their secrets to her. Yeah, they're like, wow, I can sense that you come from outside this world. I must tell you everything. Yeah. Sounds cool. I'd love to see your hero and me as a villain fight. You knew how to spell villain earlier. <laughs> like, hey, okay. Five or six lines up. That is a natural typo. The A and the O are really close. They're on opposite sides of the keyboard. <laughs> Maybe she has like a Mobius keyboard. So oh. That... Wow. Maybe it's just like a sphere. It's possible. If that's yeah. how she's got, if that's what she's got, she's doing a remarkably good job. <laughs> yeah. An amazing job. <sighs> yeah. Uh, hopefully. My hero persona can inspire you to change. What a weird conversation. <laughs> yeah, what is her characterization? <laughs> like, hey, like, oh, let's flirt. Okay, well, what if I was a good guy and you were a bad guy? <laughs> and I yeah, beat you down and taught you the so meaning of weird. right and wrong. <laughs> yeah. Said Nathaniel, smiling. Hopefully. Marissa smiled. At the moment... I'm hoping Ladybug and Cat Noir come to rescue us. Oh, oh right, said, from the party. Yeah. <laughs> said, yeah, rescue Which everybody's me from enjoying. this fucking story. Yeah. <laughs> said Nathaniel, looking around. I haven't seen any sign of sign of them. Mm-hmm. Or I guess that could be right. Yeah. I was just expecting sight. <laughs> They'll come, Alia encouragingly said as she danced next to them. Just hang in there. They always come. Wink. Nathaniel <laughs> smiled reassured. Don't worry, Marissa. Ladybug and Cat Noir always save the day. <laughs> Your Nathaniel voice is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> As the music played, Ivan seemed oh. to have been done and leaned against the wall. Wow. That was an option? That's such a... What a passive sentence. <laughs> seemed to have been done. <laughs> yeah. Adrian and Marinette seemed happy enough, but Adrian was starting to become concerned by everyone's expressions. Marinette, is something wrong? Adrian asked her. Everyone looks kind of... not one, not three, not six. (laughs) Down. My dude. Everyone is being (laughs) held hostage by a fucking (laughs) supervillain. Why do you think they're feeling that? Okay, but Adrian's never had a party before, so he doesn't know if this is normal or not. Yeah. Does he know that he's a superhero? He knows that the supervillain well, thing isn't normal. Okay, Bob, remember, his dad is sad all the time. So his dad, maybe his dad used to throw sadness parties. 
Yeah. And so Adrian is used to people looking sad at the parties. That could and be he's it. only just now, like, maybe realizing something else. Hang on, I haven't even gotten my BJ yet. Yeah. <laughs> the thing that's wrong is that him and Marinette are happy. They should be sad as well. Oh. Yeah. 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 Wrong? No. Why would you say that? She replied, looking sad at the last second. <laughs> just the last second. Please don't get the wrong idea, Adrian. You definitely deserve to have fun on your birthday, but it's wrong to force others to join against their will. That's called slavery. (laughs) Adrian was shocked to hear this. What do you mean? And then there are quotes in the middle of this quote. (laughs) All right, so, against their will. What's going on? Marinette looked away in shame and sadly answered. The bubbler took away all of the adults, including all our parents, and then abducted us. He sent Chloe into the sky with the adults and brought us here. He said because it's your birthday, you were getting a party one way or another. Which is such a weird fucking thing for you to say right now. How does Adrian yeah. not know any of this? The adults are How literally it? floating in the sky. He's some kind of numb nuts, right? Because he does not. He's such a bad superhero. He doesn't even notice when danger is afoot. <laughs> Maybe like I don't know. He he was preparing for the party so hard that he didn't interact with anyone while they all got bubbled. I guess <laughs> you know. Sent Chloe into the sky with the adults. That makes it sound like they're dead. Yeah. <laughs> and they honestly, with exposure the to the sun, they're probably dead. They went to a better place now. Yeah. The sky. Nice clouds. Yeah. They, they went uh, upstate to a farm. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> As she told him what happened, Marinette was about ready to cry. Adrian felt so guilty. Why? He wanted a party, but not like this. This is the bubbler. I oh, think. You too, does he okay? just does he just drop in with like a fucking champagne <laughs> flute? Yeah. Hey, what? everybody having fun over here? Yeah. Hey, woo. I need to refill anyone's drinks. Come on. Adrian looked at the bubbler with anger in his eyes and answered, "No, I just found out everyone was brought here against their will and forced to go along with this party." Well, not everyone. I came here myself. Fuck, Fuck you. you. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Marissa. <laughs> That's our default response. That was great. <laughs> Dual yeah. dialogue. I want a button on my desk that says fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Marissa shrugged. Still doesn't help the fact that everyone lost their parents and got kidnapped all in one day. <laughs> yeah, Aww. I mean, spread it out a little bit. Come on, guys. Yeah, like yeah. if it was like some on Tuesday, some on Thursday, kind of spread it out throughout the week, I'd be like, yeah. whatever, but like... All All in one one day? day? On my B-Day? Yeah, yeah. My blowjob day? A real villain separates killing someone's parents and then kidnapping them by at least three days. Yeah. Come Come on. on. Have some Give us time to grieve. There's a villain code. Yeah. Now someone get over here. I need my (laughs) blowjob. Anyone. Someone. (laughs) Anyone. Just fucking anybody. Bubbler? (laughs) Anybody? (laughs) Adrian argued. Aren't you a little bothered by this? As long as everyone makes it through, it's not a big deal. Acting like this is a problem won't change what will happen if we stop having fun. What? Acting like this is a problem won't change what will happen if we stop having fun. So if we stop having fun, something will happen. Hold on. I don't... Yeah. (laughs) What's what's this sentence doing? Yeah, I don't even know what the point is. Acting like this is a problem won't change what will happen. If we stop, okay. I don't... So, I have a problem now. What comes out of that? Yeah, what uh, happens? <laughs> that will not change what, what is will happening. Happen if under the condition that we stop having fun, so I have a problem. Will change what happens if we keep having fun. <laughs> hey, everybody! This is really bad. We should we... get our parents back. <laughs> I don't want to be kidnapped. Woohoo! But keep dancing. Rebel. Yeah. Keep eating. Rebel, but with a smile on your face. <laughs> Our parents are dead. Also, have you tried the hors d'oeuvres? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she was trying to say. I don't know, yeah. Yeah, all I could get from that is that oh. to fix this, they need to do something about it, but they have to keep having fun. Wait, guys, guys. All of this will be 
asked and answered in the next oh, two paragraphs. Okay. Oh. Marissa gave a slight sigh. Slight what do sigh. you mean? Adrian asked. I and believe they... that question stands the test of time. Yeah. <laughs> and then they heard a scream and saw Ivan in a bubble floating up to the sky. See, if we stop having fun... You get bubbles. That, apparently. Oh. That. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta get into your house. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna pee everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna shoot my new album cover in your house. Yeah. She said, grabbing his arm and dragging him inside. What are you doing? Let go of me. He yelled in protest. Getting you somewhere more private, kitty. Marissa said in a simple tone. There we go again. Yep. Ding. Kitty? <laughs> Adrian asked, raising an eyebrow. He shook his head. Cat Noir sound better? Marissa asked, shoving Adrian in a closet. Okay, two things. One, I have a bedroom. What? Which is not, this is not what this is. <laughs> oh, he think it's his B-Day. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Not, not one, not three, not six. And I few panic rooms. <laughs> and two, where did you get the idea that I'm Cat Noir? Adrian said, trying to hide his nervousness. Oh, she's one of these OCs now. You look just like him, and you two are never in the same place. Hold on, did you say now? She's been like this the whole story. <laughs> I mean, what? Is she just going to say, say <laughs> yeah, I just know all about you? Because... I mean... Uh, I Again, she's doing both kinds of this OC trope. Yeah. She knows everything, she's all but she's also tropes. a completely different person that doesn't know everything. <laughs> Marissa stood near the door. So, Kitty, get your claws out and get your cuteness out there. Adrian Weird. took a calming breath and said, Right, I should have done this earlier. You really should have. <laughs> Nino's my best friend and he needs my help, even if his heart was in the right place. Not like you don't have a date later anyways. Marissa remarked. Yeah, you'll get your B-Day later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These lips are ready for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hope I didn't ruin your chances with Nathaniel. Oh my god. Weird said Adrian before closing the door. Oh no. Flag, I... claws out. Oh no, you misunderstood. I think him and the goth girl would be great together. He's nice and all, just not my type. Why... Did you call her the goth girl? You know her name. Yeah, that's are weird. Are you speaking to a closed door? Yes. Okay. <laughs> She's saying this because... in the middle of his transformation. Yeah. yeah. Plaid claws out! And like while he's <laughs> saying that and going through the whole transformation <laughs> sequence on screen, you can hear her saying, Oh no, you misunderstood. <laughs> I think the goth girl would be great together. He's nice. Just a little bit. The door opened and out stepped Cat Noir. You mean Julica? Oh, is that her name? Yeah, her. She seemed nice, shy but nice. I hope she didn't misread it. I hope. I hope he didn't, didn't misread it. I hope we didn't misread it. This I whole fucking it. story. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's had zero involvement, you know, or interaction with her in this story. Yeah, I didn't even know she existed until you know moments Adrian ago. Said her name. So, uh, yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, I mean, your heavy... girl was the first mention of her. Marissa said, looking at Cat Noir. I thought they'd make a great couple. God. I don't think I just want to interrupt absolutely everything, but not leave any impact on the world once I'm done. Mm -hmm. Also, that's so weird, because in the show itself, I don't think Nathaniel and Julica have ever interacted. Maybe <sighs> this is the author's OTP. <laughs> weird. I think you're onto something. Said Cat Noir. You stay here and leave the villain fighting to pros like me and Ladybug. Okay, kitty, see you for our date later. She said before kissing his cheek. A wooga! Wait, I'm s <sighs> I'm sorry. So, for a while there... Okay, so it started with, oh, I'm being set up on a date with you. <laughs> but then for a while there, it was like, Marissa was really trying to make the, you know... Marinette actual and Adrian. Marinette, yeah. Adrian pairing happen. And then Adrian she's Matt. still like... Oh, by the way, we've got a date. Like, so I what think is she for getting some reason, at? she likes Cat Noir, doesn't like Adrian, wants Marinette to have Adrian, but she wants to be with Cat Noir, even though she knows they're the same person. Huh? It's I called feel like sharing. I, it's called like sharing. 
Like I a, feel like I need like a fourth dimensional flowchart to a big walk part, me through this. A big part of this fandom is there's like a bunch of different ships because they, nobody knows each other's secret identity or whatever. So it's like, oh, you can ship like Adrian and Marinette and Cat Noir and Ladybug and Cat Noir and Marinette. And like, it's like, oh, because nobody knows their identity. But the, she knows his identity. You can't do that. I mean... She it found make, a way. It would make more sense if she didn't know his identity. You know what? A lot of things would make more sense if she just <gasps> didn't exist. Marissa, <laughs> you're my favorite. <laughs> oh my god. She said before kissing his cheek, Cat Noir blushed and said, Perfect. And then ran out to fight the bubbler. Now I need to find Hawk Moth's lair while they're fighting. What? So she knows. Okay. So she's just going straight for the fucking big bad. Yep. Also, she still hasn't pulled out her miraculous. That's interesting. Yeah, she put it in a draw first. (laughs) She had a (laughs) brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Draw. Marissa said, going to search for Adrian's father's office. Wow, spoiler, sorry. Ladybug had arrived around the same time as Cat Noir, and the two battled the bubbler together. Thank you for not describing it. Yes. At the same time, Marissa went straight for the portrait of Adrian's mother. Oh, I call I that wish a portrait. you described the battle. This is like playing a puzzle game where you've already read the strategy guide. <laughs> yeah, you've got the strategy guide open in a tab on the right, and you're just like, uh-huh, okay, and... Uh, no, Bob, back in my day, we'd buy the Prima Games guides and read them while playing. That's because you're old. Come on. Yeah, we are old. I am That's old all we now. have now. I'm older than you. Embrace it. I'm older than all y'alls. Yeah, only right. barely. Yeah. Yeah. She placed Brown. her hands on it and felt around until she found the right spot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling up the portrait of Adrian's mother. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. It was odd. The two boobs seemed to kind of stretch <laughs> out from it. the portrait as there if they were, were 3D. There were two buttons right in the middle of the boobs. <laughs> Marissa smiled as she pressed the keys with her fingers and triggered the secret elevator. Oh. This elevator brought her a secret room in oh. the mansion filled with butterflies or moths. They are not the same. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Looking out the window was a man. Hawk moth. I wonder if it was a butterfly or a moth. I think they are uh, technically butterflies. They are in the show butterflies. Yeah. But that's because he has the butterfly miraculous. He just took on the name Hawk Moth. Anyway. Yeah, because he's an idiot. Because he's evil. Well, this is quite... <laughs> Hawk Moth flinched and swiftly turned around. His eyes widened in shock when he saw this strange girl in his home. <laughs> you know my mother, or is it my mom, Gabriel? Jesus Gass? Christ. Uh... I forgot you had lesbian moms, and now I remember again. Thank you for writing. <laughs> she smirked. Hawk Moth growled in anger before taking a calming breath. So, now that you know my secret, <laughs> Marissa, what will you do? Like, how do you know me, though? No, see, she knows everybody, and she knows that everyone everybody knows, knows her. Yeah, she's yeah. famous, remember? All right. Nothing. Marissa shrugged. At least as long as I have no reason to, I won't tell anyone. Like, say if you were to chill a bit more with Adrian or such, I definitely have no reason to tell anyone. I might even let you akubatize me once or twice. Ooh, what? That sounded real sexual. What the fuck? That, well, first akubatize? of all, yeah, that does sound super fucking sexual. Uh, like, turn her into Rare Akuma? No, turn what her into the, the big bad guy. A villain. Yeah. Of an episode. Which is fucking insane, because... Okay, first of all, yes, it does sound very sexual. But also, like, she, this OC just walked out, just did the OC thing to do, and just walked up to the big bad and said, hey, quit it! And then they went, yeah, okay. And then also offered to let her be a weapon to cause damage in the city. Is she good or bad? She seems to go back well, and forth. Do you mean good or evil? Because she is a bad OC. <laughs> okay, yes, she is definitely bad. So yeah, I guess good or evil. Uh... uh... She's normal you know, and not. Well, one than the you other. know, you know, uh, most girls say <laughs> undecided, but <laughs> we say neutral. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to quote her bio. Maybe she's trying to Cybertron, be a good girl. Cybertron, help me. She's trying to be a good girl and a bad girl. You know, you're a bad that. girl, but yeah. you're also a good girl. You're the good yeah. kind of bad, but I'm a bad man, like the regular kind of bad. Like, but the you're bad, like a, bad. You're like. 
You're like, oh gosh, I'm bad at this. Let me start over. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm a bad man. But that's part of how I'm a bad man. Yeah, I'm bad at work. I'm bad I'm in bad. all aspects. Yes, in every aspect, but physical, I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, big mood. <laughs> big mood. All right. Hawk Moth was not expecting this. So all you want is for me to be less strict with Adrian in exchange for your silence. I'm so nice, aren't I? I mean, I'm guessing you have a good reason for this, and I certainly don't want anything directly from you, so yes. Be dead. <laughs> <laughs> You're flip-flopping I hate more you. than a flip-flop. I hate this character. Very well. Said Hawk Moth. Adrian will have more freedom. Perhaps I'll start with a proper party after your date. Pleasure doing business with you, Hawk Moth. And that offer of being akumatized is still up. Oh, God. You Please <laughs> turn me into an evil being. Hurt Please. me more, Daddy. <laughs> hurt me more. Yeah, I want to hurt people. Mm. She turned around and re-entered the elevator. Also, she there knows... She knows everything about Hawk Moss. She knows it's Gabriel Regress. So she knows he wants the Miraculous. She has one. Just give your Miraculous to him. No, she put it in a draw. Oh, yeah. She yeah. put it in a draw. That's right. Yeah, she had a great idea. <laughs> yeah. She's not going to make it easy on him. She's... Yeah. Oh, my God. She's playing hard to get with the main bad guy. Not only is she... I mean, she's playing hard to get, but also easy to get because she offered to be a Please akumatize yeah. me. She's hot. I want to hurt cold. people for you, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, but also I'll totally tell everybody. Also, you're super secret. weird because she's into cat noir. What? Yeah. Uh, wow, this character has so many layers. Yeah, yeah. what a complex and interesting <laughs> character, <laughs> and not just a complicated and impossible to understand <laughs> character. Yeah, not just bad. No, nope, just <clears throat> complex. That's it. She could be of great use to me. Hawk Moth said to himself, especially considering I'm about to lose the bubbler. Wow, you gave up on the bubbler very easily. <laughs> yeah, he fucking blows. He bubbles people. He, but yeah, he like, blows what bubbles. What kind of stupid thing is that? Hours later, Marissa wondered if this made her a villain or just an anti-hero. Uh, Neither. Fuck you, you just suck. The audience yeah. wondered if this made her a villain or an anti-hero. No, 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 the audience didn't wonder. They all know she's a villain. Yeah. You're playing every card, but that's only because you brought your own deck. Yeah, fuck you. She's holding However, her own deck. That did not matter at the moment. What did matter was that she was going on a date with Adrian Agrist. <sighs> she waited at their reserve table for him to arrive. He showed up right on time, sporting a blue knitted scarf, no less. No less. No less. Whoa, a blue <laughs> knitted <laughs> scarf. Yeah. And that's it? <clears throat> <laughs> Yes. Yeah, no less. <laughs> yeah. Oh. They even got a date at the nude club. It's, he's wearing a blue scarf. No, even less than that. <laughs> Hi, Marissa. He said. Oh, no, my dong is out. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I, I guess someone's going to have one. to suck it so I don't make a mess. <laughs> Here, I guess that's why they call it a B day, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Marinette finally gave you the scarf she made. Marissa said, pretending to be absent-minded about it. Absent-minded? Yeah. Can I just be absent? <laughs> <laughs> Can fucking Marissa be absent yeah. from this goddamn universe? Can you pretend to be absent? <laughs> I don't even love this show or anything. I'm just saying, like, it's much better without her. <laughs> Marinette? Adrian asked in surprise. Yeah, she and Alia were talking about it, and I overheard. Natalie said it was from my father, said Adrian as he sat down. That was when it hit him. I don't believe it. She lied to me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Marissa said in a sad tone. Adrian was a little upset about being lied to, but when he looked at Marissa, he cheered up a bit. Weird. Wow. She has such charismo <laughs> that just looking at her. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, she none of her charismo is coming from her speaking. She said anything and everything in bored and sad tones so far. She has such chorizo. Yeah. Wow, what a great date, Adrian. Yeah. 
Thanks, Dad. You know what? It's okay. I did get one present from my father. Wink. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what's that? Marissa gave him a gentle smile, already knowing the answer. My bead. Uh, <laughs> my first date. My which first makes bead. It, date. Which is like a fucking weird thing to say about you. Oh, yeah. Dad, yeah, yeah, we've been. Dad nervous. and I just went on a date. <laughs> yeah. He's he's trying to get out of the dad zone. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. He answered. Marissa's cheeks turned red. You already knew what it was. She wondered if Hawk Moth was using Adrian to manplate her. <laughs> I've heard of mansplaining. Words. I've never heard of manplating. Is that something? New? Manplating is when a woman could uh, could plate up her, a dish herself, but a man steps in to do it for her. Yeah. Oh, here, girl. Let, let me, me do that. Get you well, your I food. got this. Yeah. Yeah, manplate me, daddy. Okay. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! I'm gonna put this much of the main course on your plate, and then I'm gonna put this much of the side dish. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go, and I hope you like it. That's yeah, why I it, hope it was fucking sexy. That's why Marissa never... <laughs> <laughs> Is it as hot for you as it was for me? <laughs> Determining exactly what, I don't know, you know, cut of steak or whatever to... To put on your plate so you could eat. He's trying to make sure he's earned his B-Day. Careful, yeah. this plate is hot. Whoa. <laughs> also, can we all just take a second and, s- and recognize that's a not one, not three right there? Yeah. Okay. I know you like Ladybug. I'm not stupid, Adrian. I want you to know I won't play a replacement to anyone. What? Yeah, okay. <sighs> yeah, I figured you might react that way. Said Adrian. But, seeing as it is my first official date, I want to oh. make sure we both enjoy it. Oh. That's what I, that's why I man played it for you. <laughs> if it's okay with you, we don't have to treat it like it's a date. Oh. Think of it as uh, bonding with a potential <laughs> new friend. I'm wiggling my eyebrows furiously. Oh, of course. Yeah. How's that? I can consider it that. But if you want more, you'll have to decide someday. Do you want a girl behind a mask or someone you can truly be with? Cool. Fuck you. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you do, I guess. Said Adrian. He then smiled at her. <clears throat> Changing the subject. I heard you chose Marinette to be your new designer. Yeah, weren't you like The story's right there? about to wrap up, but I have to bring this up now. Yes, I'm excited about it. Oh, I heard your dad changed his mind about letting you have a party. How did you hear how that? Mu- how, how much day Wait, this is was, left? This was hours later. Okay, so there was school. Then the uh, parents uh, presumably sometime passed at the party. Then the fight. <laughs> then hours passed and the date happened. And then the party's supposed to happen after the part, at- is it? I thought it was going to be a different yeah, day. Yes, said- Hawkmoth said, uh, "Perhaps I'll start with the proper party after your date." Oh yeah, okay. How much day is there? <laughs> it's going to go all through the night. Yeah, this is a real after party, you know. Yeah, yeah, and after the party, it's a celebration level. for his first speed day. Yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah. Marissa smiled happily at him. Sorry, hold on. I'm just imagining him getting a PJ and everybody applauding. <laughs> See, and I was imagining we like... We knew you could do it, Adrian. <laughs> and he's like giving him a thumbs up. I was imagining yeah. like full-on bachelorette style dick-shaped cake. Like... <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> he did. Said Adrian. Which was unexpected. He never changes his mind, and he said I could invite my class, and I was hoping you could come too, even though you're in my class, <laughs> I, I thought that would be included. I wanted to make it up to everyone. Nino's even planning to DJ. Sounds fun. Marissa smiled happily, said. <laughs> Whoa. Words you really, have no meaning really anymore. Love just, <laughs> just like wherever. Just, it's like a word like, cloud, They're all just yeah. merging together. I'm aiming for everyone to have fun this time, not just me. You still had fun. That's so fucking weird. (laughs) Said Adrian. Yeah, that sounds good. 
Marissa smiled before going, containing their date. Marissa just hoped she Shed made the right choice. Whoa. So that was like a word cloud right at the end there. Just like the... Yeah, it just like yeah. vomited a couple of words at us. The author More posted all their excess words there. What was that Marissa smiled before going... Containing. Containing their date. <laughs> Going, what is going? <laughs> even what if that was so sweet. Sweet. <laughs> it, What a train wreck right at the end. It's like right at the end, like this author couldn't form proper sentences. So, well, even worse than normal. So they just gave up. <laughs> Yikes. Imagine like, you're writing. Yowza. Like, imagine you're writing a story and you're okay. typing away, you're having a good old time, and then pro- you write a sentence and you go, like, oh, let me read that back. And you, you read back. <clears throat> Marissa smiled before going containing their date. Marissa just hoped Ched made the right choice. And suddenly you're like, oh no. <laughs> Something has gone wrong. In this my author head. doesn't read anything back. No, but like imagine you wrote it. Like you being you. I don't mean you oh. being her. I mean you being you. Imagine <laughs> how scared would you be? I think I'd I was- be so I'd be horrified if I yeah? wrote that and then suddenly like I'm like, oh no, I'm having a stroke. Yeah? I think I would just delete my whole story at that point. Wow! Yikes! What? Why did you... I, well, I know why you showed this to us. So that's my favorite fanfic author, <laughs> Marissa. And so you say, even though we're reading this mere days after this was posted, what is the likelihood it's getting updated? Okay, low, right? so most of her stories are... Like over five thousand words. This one was forty eight hundred, um, and a lot of them are over ten thousand words. But she typically doesn't update stories. She'll like post the whole thing. She might update it once, but most of her stories that I most of the ones that I really like, she'll upload with like five thousand words, delete, and then re-upload, and it'll be completely different. And then she'll delete it again, and she might re-upload it, but most of the time she doesn't. So, um, this might be deleted. Yeah. Might not. I don't know. Well, we had screen caps, so. But it's unfortunate, since this was only posted four days ago, if she does delete it, we won't have any reviews on it. Yeah, well. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, one last reminder. Uh, The collab, we also have a video on their channel. Link in the description. Probably a link in the end card, too. And also, uh, Rogue, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Check out my channel. Our channel. (laughs) The channel. The one and only YouTube channel, in fact. John YouTube made it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And special thanks to our supporters on Patreon. Their names are on screen now. If you want to contribute but don't want to join the Patreon, we have our PayPal linked below as well. Regardless of your level of support, feel free to leave your thoughts or requests in the comments or in the public Discord server. All relevant links are in the description. Have a good one, and thanks again for watching.